Hi there, welcome to this CBT Nuggets micro nugget entitled Windows 8 Refresh and Reset. My name is Tim Warner. I have to hand it to Microsoft, they truly have made a concerted effort over the past few years at least to pay attention to customers, to ask what is important to corporate and consumer customers in Windows. And like it or hate it, Windows 8 does include this refresh and reset functionality that as long as you're aware of its potential gotchas can be very much a lifesaver in terms of restoring work and saving you extra time. As you know, and of course Microsoft knows, Windows can get slow over time. Disks can get fragmented. Even when you uninstall, sometimes applications leave behind settings. Things get sluggish on a system. And one way to refresh a system is to do just that. Back up all of your data, your pictures, your documents, your media files. Back up, make sure that you have the original source for your applications, that you've backed up your license files, all of that stuff that you can't stand to lose. Reformat the hard drive, reinstall Windows, reinstall your apps, and then bring back your data. Your system will essentially be as good as new performance-wise, and you'll have all your data. Now that's a lot of work, especially to ask to a typical end user. The other equation here is what if you want to sell or give away your Windows PC? You certainly don't want to make the mistake of leaving any of your personal data on that machine. That's what's called a case for a reset, where you're wiping the hard drive and reinstalling Windows to its bare metal defaults. Okay. Now, Windows 8, as I said, has built-in capability for doing both refreshes and resets. In a reset, you'll need your installation media in order to reinstall Windows 8. It's on you, basically, to back up all of your data because that drive is going to get wiped. And when you come back from that reset, it will be just Windows with no personally identified identifiable data on it at all. Now, in a refresh scenario, this assumes that you want to continue using the PC. You want to wipe the drive, reload Windows, but get your stuff back. Now, here's the gotcha. With the Windows 8 refresh, at least as of this recording in February 2013, only your user data, your Windows settings, guess I have an extra T in there, and your Windows Store apps are restored. Now, there's some scuttlebutt on the internet, people complaining that device drivers, not all of them got restored, and certainly any desktop apps that you've installed will not get picked up by that refresh by default. Now, that's something to keep in mind. As an alternative, you might just want to turn back the clock on your system, so to speak, by using system restore functionality. That's really a question that's up to you, how invasive you want to refresh your computer. So without further ado, let's hop into the demo and I'll show you how this stuff works. Here we are on a Windows 8 box. I'm logged on using my user account. You can get to the refresh and reset settings either from within Windows or you can boot the computer from your Windows 8 installation media and get to it from there. I'll finish this with showing you what that interface looks like. But from the start screen or the traditional desktop, we can invoke the charms bar, go to settings, and then in settings, go to change PC settings. And in PC settings, come down to general. If we scroll down to the bottom, we have options for refresh your PC without affecting your files, get started, or in the case of giving away your computer or selling it and you want all your personal data wiped, you can do remove everything and reinstall Windows, which is what's called a reset operation. Now, you're well aware of the gotchas about refresh. If you want to guarantee yourself that your refresh will give you back all your drivers and your applications, you can actually create your own refresh image. Let me go to the upper left, select the traditional desktop, and we'll open up an elevated command prompt window. I used the Windows key to come back to the start screen. I just started typing CMD. I can right click the command prompt icon and run it as an administrator. User account control comes up and we're in. And what we can do is this. First, we'll make a directory. I'll call this refresh. So I created a folder on my C drive called refresh and there's a tool called rec image, R-E-C-I-M-G. And the way it works is you supply a switch called create image and then the path to that folder. 
and it tells us creating recovery image, press escape to cancel. It creates a snapshot of whatever the current picture of the system is, similar to how you would do a system restore snapshot. This is going to create a Windows imaging format, a WIM file of the entire drive. And as this tells us here, this may take a while to do, so I'll pause the video and come back when it's finished. Alrighty then, we've created our image snapshot WIM file, so let's actually show you what this looks like once we go ahead with it. We'll expose the charms bar again, come back to change PC settings, and if we choose refresh your PC, get started, it says here's what happens. Your files and personalization settings won't change. PC settings will be changed back to their defaults. Windows Store apps will be retained. And then I guess it does tell us explicitly. There's been customers complaining saying that Microsoft never told them that they would lose their applications. A list of removed apps will be saved to your desktop. Well, again, as long as we've created our refresh image, we'll get all that stuff back. If we click Next, it prepares and then we hit refresh to reboot the computer and start the refresh process. We get the Windows logo preparing to refresh your PC, waiting with fingers crossed, and then it's a case of hurry up and wait. At least we're given this circular progress bar that lets us know that something's happening on the system, and you'll see in parentheses the percent completion as it works that way. After the refresh completes, the system automatically restarts, and from the looks of it, we're coming back to the same Windows 8 environment that we had prior to launching the refresh. I actually had a second reboot because the system was obviously reloading drivers. And this is the introductory screen that you see when you first boot a new Windows 8 system. Very annoying, asking you to move your mouse to the corner. In my opinion, not that anybody asked, you shouldn't have to jump through any hoops to get a system on its feet. And my resolution is kind of whacked out too, as a matter of fact. I'm going to jump right into how to do a reset because time is getting short in this micro nugget. And to do that for the sake of variety, I'm going to reboot the system and boot off the Windows 8 DVD. When you boot a computer by using the Windows 8 installation media, it takes you into Windows Setup by default. We're going to next pass this first screen, and then instead of hitting Install Now, we're going to go to Repair Your Computer. This takes us to this screen where we can continue a normal boot into Windows, turn off the PC, or use troubleshooting. We're going to hit troubleshooting, and then here are the refresh and reset options. So to reset your system, delete all your files, we choose reset your PC from the list. It tells us that what will happen is that all of our personal apps and files will be removed, and our PC will be set back to its default value. The target OS, of course, is Windows 8. Windows is going to be able to find the media because because we booted off that media, we are in a special mode called the Windows Recovery Environment, or Windows RE. And it's nice, because it wasn't too many years ago that when you booted from the installation media, you didn't have access to the mouse, to the network, etc., etc., and so forth. Here we have a Reset Your PC notification. It's asking us to wait. On my system, I have more than one drive. It asks us, do you want to wipe just your system volume or everything? It's nice that they include this option. You might have more than one partition or disk on your system. On my system, I'm just going to take care of the system volume, and I want to fully clean the drive, not just remove my personal information. And we're all ready to go. Hit reset, and you're off and running. When it comes back, it's going to be as if this system is brand new from whatever original equipment manufacturer sold it to me. I hope that this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.